So it's good to see everybody back today. I uh, got some housekeeping stuff to go over, but before we do that, as luck would have it, have Joe for you. Guy walks into a psychiatrist's office and says, Doc, I'm really having a tough time. I'm having weird dreams. One night I dream I'm a wigwam, the next night I dream I'm a teepee. Following night I drink, dream I'm a wigwam, next night I dream I'm a teepee. Psychiatrist says, says, I know what your problem is. You two tense. about what to do after your partner opens one no trump. Okay. When your partner opens one no trump, you still have the two things we're trying to figure out on every bridge hand. Do the two of us have enough points for a game contract and enough points is 25 or so? And do we have an eight card major suit fit? There are two primary conventions people use to determine whether they have an eight-card major suit fit when partner opens no trump. The first is called stamen. Okay. Stamen is a two-club bid follow, uh, after one no trump. Ask partner if he has a four-card major. Okay, so the options go one no trump, pass, two clubs, pass, and then the one no trump bidder gets to respond, and he only has three possible responses. Two diamonds, two hearts, and two spades. Two diamonds is no four card major. Four hearts equals four hearts. Nah. Two spades, four spades. And I'll just write this up. And last week somebody asked, what do you do if you got them both? How do you respond? Here in Richmond, we respond two hearts. On the left <laughs> coast, they respond two spades. Truth be told, it doesn't really matter what you do. As long as you and your partner have the agreement that when I bid two clubs, I always have a four-card major, we will always find an eight-card major suit fit if we have one, if we're four, four in the majors. Okay. So, we're going to do a little math. I open one no trump. How many points do I have? 15 to 17. Every single time? Every single time. I'm not going to have more and I'm not going to have less. Okay, so if partner opens a no trump and I have a six count, do we have any interest in game? No. no. We don't because the most my partner can have is 17 and I've got six. Okay, partner open one no, the most he can have is 17 and I've got six. So I don't have any interest in game. The way that we figure out whether we have interest in game or not is kind of like this. If I 
I've got zero to seven points and my partner opens no trump, I don't have any interest in gain. Okay, so I am going to pass unless I have an exceptionally shapely hand. We'll talk about that in a bit. If I have eight or nine points, I may or may not, I do have interest in game, but I'm gonna leave it up to my partner by inviting him. I'm gonna tell him, partner, I'm interested in game. If you have the top of your bid, we wanna be in a game contract. If you have a 15 point hand, we don't wanna be in a game contract. If you have 16, exercise some judgment. Questions so far? All right, well, after my partner responds, I'll say my partner responds with two hearts. I'll say he responds with two spades. When you bid the two clubs, do you have to have any clubs? <laughs> no, two clubs is a conventional bid. That's a good question. <laughs> two clubs does not say anything about clubs. It says, do you have a four-card major? And the great thing about conventional bids is they do not necessarily, when I bid clubs, what's it sound like I have? Clubs. When I bid two clubs over one no trump, I don't promise any clubs. It is a totally conventional bid. It's such a common conventional bid that it doesn't require any alerts. Actually, if you play two clubs, shows clubs, that's something you should notify the opponents of. All right, so I open a note, or my partner opened a note trump, I bid two clubs, my partner bid two spades. 99% of the stamen bid you are going to make are gonna be on these four squares, okay? I either have an invitational hand with a fit, an invitational hand without a fit, a game going hand with a fit, or a game going hand without a fit, okay? If I don't have a fit, I'm bidding no trump. If I have a fit, I'm bidding some number of spades. Okay. So if I have enough points for game and no fit, my partner told me I had four spades and I don't have four spades, I'm bidding three no trump. If I have eight or nine points, I'm bidding two no trump. Now, if my partner catches me with fit, he bids spades and I have spades, I'm gonna evaluate, I'm gonna evaluate my hand and see whether I wanna be in game or not. If I've got 10 plus points and I count distribution in this, <laughs> since we have a fit, I'll bid four spades, and with eight or nine, I'll bid three spades. <laughs> Which once again, when I make an invitational bid, I'm telling my partner, partner, look at your hand, you told me you had 15 to 17 points. If you have 17, I want to be in a game contract. If you have 15, I don't. If you have 16, exercise judgment. If we have a spade fit, you can upgrade your hand for extra shape. Certainly, if you have a five card spade suit and open a no trunk, that would be a good thing. That, in a nutshell, is staining. Any questions? Wow. All right. So, again, two conventions to deal to. What, uh, yeah. Oh, I actually have tonight's <laughs> lesson, but that's okay. Yes, ma'am. I swear, I get so confused. If you have a 15 to 17 points and a five card mage, do you open no trump or do you open your mage? That's a great question. Her question was if I've got a balanced um, 16 count <laughs> with a five card spade suit, do I open at one spade or do, do I open at one no? Personally, I'm a one-no bidder. I like getting the hand off my chest. Um, there are some people who open a one spade, and that's fine too. The problem with opening one of a major, especially if I have a five-card heart suit, is I'm kind of stuck for a bid. Goes one heart, one spade, humana, humana, humana. If I bid one no trump, I'm showing 12 to 14, and I have more than that. I might not have a sixth heart, so I just like bidding the no trump and I don't always get to disclose my five card major, but I tell my partner how many points I have. Uh, second question, and this came up in an open game the other night, is would you, 
uh, guy had a 16 count with a singleton ace of clubs. He said, would you open this in Otron? I looked at him and said, no, no. If you have a void or a singleton, you're not balanced. So I'm not, so do not consider opening hands such as that one no trump. Okay? And I'm going to say this. Very, very good player opened a no trump with a singleton spade against me in an open tournament a couple of years ago. Worked out really well for <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Up to your diagram, up to spades and paths. I have heart and I open in no trump. Okay. Do I go to no trump in response to the two spades if I'm really looking for hearts? Well, when my partner's bit spades, he doesn't have them. Oh, that's right. Yeah. He's playing here. He would have done hearts first. Right. It, and actually, I did no trump anyway. If he has hearts, he knows I have a four card major. Say you're in Arizona, then they do it the other way. Right. Okay? okay. Your bid is still no trump. If, if I tell you that I have a four card major and I don't have four of the one that you bid, then I've got four of the other. If I always have a four card major to bid no trump, then if I don't raise the one that you bid, I've got the other one. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Given that we're all in acolytes here and we've opened one no trump with five of a major and it goes one no trump, two clubs, and I say two hearts and I've got five and they say two no, oh no, I have four spades. If I say three hearts, does that mean I have five? Hearts? That's a great question. I'll write that auction up and... By the way, for those of you who are paying attention, we haven't actually gotten to tonight's lesson yet. I've got 15 minutes, so we'll be fine. So the auction goes, one no, two clubs, two hearts, two no. <coughs> now, two no trump is an invitational bid. If I have a 15 count with a five card heart suit, am I accepting invitations? I'm not. So I've got a great bid to describe that hand. That bid would be passed. But if I'm accepting invitations, and I bid three hearts, then my partner will think. He said he had four hearts, and I told him I wasn't interested in a heart <coughs> contract, and now he's bidding them again. He must have five, just five. Ordinarily, if you've got a six-card major, you can open that one of a major instead of no trump. Okay? So when I bid hearts again, it says I have five and I want to be in a game contract. Okay? So your next bid is either four hearts or three no trump. Great question. Yes, ma'am? Well, if they raised the heart because they had five hearts, wouldn't that have been, shouldn't that have been a transfer? Well... No, 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 I, I opened. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm Fran. I said, oh, I said in this lesson, he said, yes, open a no trump with a five card major. So I did. And then he bid Stamen, and I showed him four, and then he bid two no trump, and I wanted to show him five. And I did by doing this. Okay, good question. Yes, ma'am. If you have a 15 count or thereabouts, and one of your suits is a double 10 with a seven and eight in it, yeah. is that still a good no trump bid? Um... I'm going to say this, I'm going to slow down and make sure that you're paying attention. You only have one chance to tell your partner that you have 15 to 17 points in a balanced hand. <coughs> if you don't do it right away, you will never, ever be able to convince your partner that you got 15 to 17 points in a balanced hand. So if I don't have a suit stopped, not going to prevent me from opening a no trump. If I've got this hand, and I'll actually move on to today's lesson after this. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a great hand. How many high card points do I have? 16. 16. Am I balanced? 
Oh my goodness, I have two unstop black suits. How do I open this hand? One no trump. Now, for those of you who say, eh, you can't open that one no trump, you've got two unstop suits. I'm going to give you this. Oh, that's okay. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to open one diamond, and I'm sure it'll work out. Now, I haven't introduced you to Ken Law's Law yet. <laughs> Okay, Kin Law's Law is very simple. It says if there's a bid that you don't want to hear from your partner, that's the one that he's going to make. And in this particular case, <laughs> he's going to bid one spade, and you say, oh, great. What do I do now? Uh, yeah, I bid one no drop, because I'm balanced. I still don't have club stop, but I'm not going to worry about that. But, diamond, spade, no trump, 12 to 14 points. I have 16 points. I've underbid my hand by a queen. The great thing about bidding no trump at any point in the auction is all you do is you ask your partner to do math. Partner, between the two of us, we're looking for 25 points. I've got between this much and this much every single time. Okay? So I would open this hand to no trump and not give it a second thought. Good question. Any other questions? Hold on to them. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did you say that there were two responses? There's a stamen bid convention, in the, but you didn't go to the other one. Oh my gosh! Yes, <laughs> that's tonight's lesson. We're gonna okay, and thank you for that. I'll pay you later. Now we're going to talk about Jacoby transfer. You have this hand. he have? 15 to 17. So between the two of you, how many points do y'all have? 15 to 17. How's one no trump going to do? It's not going to do well. Okay. Is there a contract that you think might work better? Hearts. How many hearts? Two. I'd like to play one, but they won't let me, so the least I can play is two. Now I have a second question for you. I have 16 points, you have zero points. Which one of us should play the hand? The person with the no trump opener. So, a lot of people have an agreement that they will play something called a Jacoby transfer bid. The way Jacoby transfer bid works is we have agreed that if you open a no trump, I will open the suit <laughs> under my major suit, and we have the agreement that I've got five cards in the higher ranking suit. So if it goes on this hand, one no trump pass two diamonds, okay? My partner and I have the agreement that I'm showing hearts. Does that make some sense? Yes. Okay. <laughs> make sense, but I understand well, and again, how doing it. <laughs> it think about it sense. like this. Your goal with this is to get me to play the hand. Okay? So if you bid hearts, who plays the hand? You do. Okay, so you bid the suit under your heart suit, and we've agreed that when you do that, I've got hearts. Okay, now, I'm going to look at the man sitting next to you, who you're playing with tonight, I'm guessing. All right, now, this is important. If you are playing transfer bids, it is vitally important that your partner is also playing transfer bids. <laughs> Okay, this is one of those conventional thingies. Okay, one no trump pass, two diamonds. What does that sound like? Sounds like diamonds. I bid diamonds. It sounds like diamonds. 
I don't have diamonds. We have the agreement that I have hearts. Yes, ma'am. What if What if you really had diamonds, what would you do? Something else. <laughs> Her question was, what would I do if I had diamonds? Something else. Yes, ma'am. Why would you put this candle out? Because one no Trump is going down in a bloody ball of flame. Okay, two hearts. I'm going to take heart. I'm going to take tricks with these three cards. So one no Trump goes down in flames. Two hearts may go down less. less. <laughs> okay? Might even make if I catch my partner with a heart fit. Okay? But I'm bidding to get my